<laughs> happy to be uh, happy to see everyone. Um, when I was talking to to Levette yesterday because uh, I called her because I um I I needed someone to talk to, you know. And uh, I I was just explaining to her, I was like, boy, I feel like I be, I've been putting a strain on my relationship. You know, with our creator, and I just feel like I'd been going down a bad path. And they come right here this morning, precious, and you, you give me this good, strong reminder. So I know that I'm in the right uh, right place at the right time. You know, that no matter what path it is that you feel you being going down or whatever, that, you know, God can always still love us. So I appreciate that. And we also spoke about you and Deera and, you know, just... The fact that you 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 kept the space going, you know, that allowed me to even come back in, <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's just amazing. And we appreciate you, and I love you for it. So this morning, I'm gonna read from Ephesians two, four through six, and it says, <clears throat> "But God is so rich in mercy, and He loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins." He gave us life. And when he raised Christ from the dead, it is only by God's grace that you have been saved. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because of we because we are united with Christ Jesus. And today, I'm just grateful for God's mercy. I'm grateful for grace. And I'm just grateful for... um community and family and friends you know the past in in all transparency the past couple of months have been um extremely sort of rough for me you know and and i found myself picking up a lot of, uh, of my old bad habits you know like drinking and just you know i I, I feel like I was I was becoming disconnected, you know. I, I like I was telling Yvette yesterday, I wasn't even coming in the room and stuff because, you know, I would find every excuse in the world, you know, I oversleep, I sleep, I this, I that, you know what I mean? And and I realized yesterday that, you know, it was all me. Like I had to I had to change. Like I had to I had to repent and I had to get on my knees and ask God for forgiveness and say, Hey, you know what? I, I need to, to get back on track, you know, I need to remain focused, you know, and it's so easy to get distracted, you know, it's so easy to let the enemy, like, put these distractions in your way, and it's so easy for the enemy to to use you as your own worst enemy, you know, because it wasn't, I'll, I'll sit there, I ain't gonna lie, you know, it wasn't nobody else, I didn't have pay or pressure, nothing, it was me, you know, it was all me, I was messing up. You know, I was making the bad decisions, you know, and that's why I had to come to grips with it. And I had to say, hey, you know, we we, we, we putting a stop to this right now. And the reason why I chose this verse is because, you know, it, 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 it the Apostle Paul tells us right in the beginning what exactly what I needed to hear. You know, he said, but God is so rich in mercy. And he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. And I chose to do better, you know, and and I just plan on now hopefully remaining, trying my best to remain focused, you know, stay on a good path and, you know, be surrounded by a community that I know loves and strengthens me and who I can pour that love back into. So I just, I, from the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to tell each and every one of y'all, I appreciate you. You know, and I appreciate y'all even being here and I just appreciate y'all for who y'all are. You know, I'm carrying our language, my mic. <clears throat> 